Listen. If you do not understand white supremacy, what it is, and how it works, everything else that you understand will only confuse you. Now, sometimes people say, well, you mean everything that I understand will confuse me if I don't understand racism? Yes, because racism is the dominant political and religious motivating force among the people of the planet in all nine areas of activity, economics, education, entertainment, labor, law, politics, religion, sex, and war. That covers just about everything that any person, minute by minute, might be doing or engaged in any time of day or night anywhere on the planet. Oh, absolutely. Everything that the white supremacists do, and this is important to remember, if a white person is a person that believes in and practices white supremacy, which is racism, he or she does nothing that's not going to give strength to the system of white supremacy intentionally. Anything that they do intentionally and deliberately is always to make the system of white supremacy stronger. They, they avoid doing anything that's going to be a danger to the system of racism. Why? Because if you're a racist, it's in the best interest of you as a racist to become stronger, not weaker. So anything in any of the areas of activity, economics, you're not going to do anything in economics that's not going to make white supremacy stronger. Education, same thing. Anything that they teach, anything that they go to learn. You talk to a racist and whatnot, and you say you're setting up some kind of school, that racist mind begins to turn and say, wait a minute, is this, is this school going to make me stronger? As a racist, it's going to help me to practice better power over black people? Or is it not? Is it going to weaken me? Entertainment, the third area of activity, same thing. Am I going to take part in this play? Is it going to help to make me stronger as a white supremacist? Or is it going to make me weaker and make a black person stronger? stronger in a constructive manner. I'm not going to have that. I'm not going to participate. If I'm a white supremacist, no. No, I'm not participating in any form of entertainment that's going to help a black person do anything of constructive value. Now, if they're going to do something in the third area of activity, entertainment, all right, that's going to be non-constructive for black people and constructive, making giving me greater strength as a white supremacist, then I'll participate in that play or in that movie or in that event or in that festival or in that whatever it is, that gathering that they're going to have in the entertainment field. It's the same way in any field, education, economics, labor, law, politics, religion, sex, and war. Any one or more of the nine areas of activity, the racist bells always go off when they look at anything that's going on. And people are always doing something. Everybody's doing something. A racist always looks at everything and say, is it going to weaken black people and make them more stupid than they already are and have them doing crazy things that's very destructive to themselves and other black people? And if it's not, I don't want to have nothing to do with it. That's the white supremacist philosophy. <laughs> now, some people have said they've seen some cartoons of my work uh, on the Internet that have been presented. And that uh, it, it pretty well embellishes what I have been trying to say in my textbooks. And uh, to the extent that it does that, well, that has been, from what I understand, some people reported to me, a plus that 
because they didn't understand what I had written very well. But when they saw those cartoons that just repeated what I was saying and attaching my name to it and uh, came right out of the book, the material did, uh, they say that they better understood it. And I can understand that because people are kind of visual, particularly in the year 2021 now, uh, more visual than ever.